Alright, hello guys. I want us to look at engineering drawing and two engineering drawing and two for this previous question paper of question five interpenetration. Question five interpenetration. So right once a year before you even read the question, the very first thing that you have to do right uh, analyze the views as well as uh, their projection symbols. So we're given two views with our one auxiliary. So according to fair, uh, uh, that angle orthographic projection, because this is the angle orthographic projection symbol. So we've got two different types of angle orthographic projection symbol. So this one is what is third angle orthographic projection symbol. So we are given this and this. So according to third angle orthographic projection, this is going to be our front view, this is going to be our what? Our top view. So so figure four shows two views do you see where i'm reading two views of a cylinder and a, a equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle so that equilateral triangle we are going to uh, draw it twice so it's supposed to be this one and this one and we are going to call it an auxiliary view you understand equilateral triangle so uh, without interpenetration line so when you go down there redraw the to a scale one is to one the two the two given views in third angle orthographic projection you see the question that even telling you that you have to draw it according to third angle orthographic projection so 5.2 shows the interpenetration curve on the front view so you'd be given what three marks so 3.5.3 3 show all the constructional lines needed to project the curve of interpenetration 3 max so line work and accuracy 3 max so let's just start so we are going to start by drawing what the top view this one by drawing the top view so using a scale 1 is to 1 so now we are going to start with the diameter 60 so diameter 60 to draw diameter 60 you need the radius of what of 30 so we're going to say 60 divided by 2 you are getting 30 millimeter so this is my 30 millimeter open it to 30 now without shifting your drawing compass i can come and draw it right here and i'll draw it dark right here so after i've draw it i can now draw the horizontal center line where was i placing my drawing compass is right here so i can draw the center line horizontal okay, well, then after that i can draw the horizontal center line hmm. then after that one so this is diameter this diameter 60 so which means from here till here has to be 60 millimeter so then do you see that from here to there is the same as this one 35 so after i've drawn this circle i am going to record the dimension going vertically down dimension of 20 millimeter there's my 20 millimeter so i'm approaching to draw the upper part of our front view now draw a faint line like this so we separate our views with with what with a uh, uh, with a 20 millimeters and after this one from here till is 20 so i can draw horizontal line going down and this one going down so i can have this one solid now from here till here with that fair or favor supposed to be solid is which one is this one from here till here you understand then from there uh, 
what is it that I can draw? Let me see, is it clear enough? Yes. So now I am going to write from this point, eh? from this point going vertical down, I'm going to record the dimension of 100 millimeter, the height 100 millimeter. Even on the center, it's still one and the same thing. I can still get it even here, still one and the same thing. There's my 100 millimeter, then I can draw it. Duck, without fear or favor, duck. It's this one. So my 100 millimeter is ending here. So I can draw duck line from here till here. So don't worry about the erase uh, lines. Actually, this is a used paper. This is a used paper. I'm actually running short of drawing sheets. So now, do you see that from here, from here till there, it's what is 100 millimeter, which is this one, from here till here, hey, one. from here till here. So from here till the solid, which is this one, from there till there. So from this point going up, I see a dimension of what of 45 millimeter. You can do it 40 days or 45. Till at zero. The way my 45 ends, I can put out a faint line, horizontal, faint line, horizontal. You understand? So from here to there is what is is 45 millimeter, which is this one from there till there. You understand? Mm -hmm. So now from here, you see that the dimension from here till there we are not given up until we draw the equilateral triangle. So the equilateral properties of the equilateral triangle, we know that all the sides they must be 40. We if from here till here is 40, eh? from here till here is 40, which means again from there till there is to be 40, has to be 40, and we it is supposed to have three corners, isn't it? So now from here, from this point coming this side, we are told it's 35 millimeter. So from here to there, 45 millimeter, and I can draw it dark since I can see it is dark even right there. So where my 45 end is right here, I can draw a faint line going up like this. You understand? So now from here to there, I can record dimension of 20 millimeter. My 20 is ending right here understand then from here i cannot record a dimension of 40 millimeter 40 and i can throw it dark from here till there it's 40 millimeter 40 millimeter i can draw it dark then from there i take my drawing compass let me do you see where are we now Yes, so from there, I can take my drawing compass from here, place it here, this is 40, I come, strike an arc like this, and come and place it here, strike another one like this. So where these arcs of yours, they are bisecting to each other, up there, try to zoom it a little bit. I place my compass here, further extend to this point, strike an arc here, and place it here, strike an arc here. So now I can have this from there till there, solid, from here till here, solid. So that becomes my what? My equilateral triangle. So now I take this point, horizontal, horizontal. So after that, after that I can decide to say this is my point one, point two, point three, equilateral three corners, three corners, isn't it? Then after that one, let's see where are we going now. So we've already gotten the height of this one, from there till there, and from here till there. 
for this height from here till there you can you can now throw it dark it came dark by itself again close it there so there we go dark all right then after we are done with that so we can now approach to it to draw the the what you call the to finish up the this part of your top view you understand this part of your top view and how are we gonna do that and do you see that this point one is good as if we can put a center here you see so from here to lay is this is, is is the same as from here to lay because from here to lay is 40 which means from here to lay is 20 and 20. so what we did here we're supposed to do it up with there you understand so now can simply open it to 20 millimeter which is the half half of 40 half of 40 this is 20 then now I come and place it here I strike an arc here and I strike an arc here so this is going to be okay before I number I can now draw it a uh, duck from here to there so this one is giving us what right, is giving us this one from here to there you understand so since it's in the same line with what with this part of your front view eh? so now we can have it dark from here to there and dark from here to there you understand so again this one is going to be solid Finish it nicely. This one is going to be solid from here to right there. Because it's actually the top view. Eh? So this point one, you are going to see it clearly. You understand? So I'll take this point up, this point two, eh? and further extend this one just a little bit. Just a little bit. And have this one dark from here to there. You understand then from there what is going to happen what is going to happen now you take your drawing numbers place it at this point further extend to this one strike an arc along the center and place it here open it to this one strike an arc right there you understand so now you can join this point from here to there and this one from here till there you you understand so now if i decide to say this is my one because the law it says the auxiliary points they will go up until they touch the main pipe once they touch the main pipe they're supposed to go uh, how a uh, vertical but the points from the auxiliary or, or of my uh, front view, they will just go horizontal. They don't change. Do you understand? So now, if yeah, in my top uh, front view, I've got my one year, uh, which means there by our top view, the what the point one is supposed to be, and two here, and the three there. You understand then from there what is going uh, is going to happen we are going to divide this this is what this is 40 isn't it we are going to divide it into a um, uh, five millimeter five 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 which means from from point uh, two uh, from point three to one this is 40 millimeter isn't it like this then I'm going to mark it. Let me try to zoom it just a little bit. I'm going to zoom it. I'm going to save five, 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 five. You understand? So I can say this is A, B, C, D, E, 
F H understand then from there what is going to happen so now I can take this point horizontal take them point actually this is G then I can take them horizontally once they touch the main pipe you stop faint main pipe stop main pipe stop stop then see stop there you go there you go like this once they touch the main pipe then you stop there so now we're gonna start with what with point uh, point uh, three gonna take it vertically like this This is point three. Mm. Then down you go. Like this. Down you go. Actually, let me do it like this. Since we've uh, done this one like this, uh, from A, from from one to three isn't it? so the one to three is the side so we are even here on the top part because i want to construct a line and get a point construct a line and get a point i like constructing lines at the end of the day they end up confusing so three three to one isn't it let's do what we did up there in the tray auxiliary top view eh? so this is auxiliary front view So we can see this is five, 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 like this. Then we're gonna say this is A, B, C, D, E, F. G. Then these ones they are going to be constructed horizontal. So this is A, there it goes. You understand? A must intersect with what with point A. A must intersect with what with point A. So one with point one. B with point B. C with point C. Let's start now. We're gonna start with what with the one there by our auxiliary of the front view. Remember, this is given according to third angle orthographic projection. So this is one that goes once it touches the main pipe, it goes vertically down. Uh, the one of our auxiliary uh, uh, front view is just going horizontal straight. So there it goes. This one, there it goes once it touches the main pipe, it's going down, isn't it? Which means it's this one. So which means we've got a point uh, there. You understand? So let's follow it by what point A. Both this is what this is one A B C isn't it? So point A is the what is the second one. So there is point A. Take it, vert, uh, take it vertically down. So it's very close to what to point. To point one. There it is. You see something very close, very close. So supposed to intersect with what with point. Uh, Point A, A with the auxiliary of your front and A with the auxiliary of your top. So this is A, let's trace it. There it goes. Once it touch here, it's going vertically down, isn't it? So what is the side goes? So which means it's giving me a point right here. You understand? Now let's follow it by point what point B. There it is. This is what this is point B, eh? so now you take point B vertical. So there it goes. Point B, there it goes. So it's also very close. Then B of your auxiliary front view goes vertically, I mean horizontal. So B is this one. 
and I cannot zoom it furthermore. So there is point B. You understand? So point A is C starting from your from your auxiliary of your what? of your of your top view, isn't it? Which one? This one there is C. This is C. And C goes vertically now. Must intersect with what? With the C. With the C this side. With the C from your what? From your auxiliary of your of your friend view. There it goes. So which means I've got a point here. You understand? So now C D from the auxiliary of my what of my front of my top view. Where is it? C D is this one D. Then take it vertically. So there it goes. This is T must intersect with the what with the auxiliary front view the D is this one from here there it goes so which means there is my point you understand and zoom it uh, yes and then from there we have to get the what the, the auxiliary point D from the top view E this is E then from there check it vertically down it's very close this is E so there is my point E Amen. then E F which is this one F there it is F let me yeah this is this one the third one there you go let's get it down F of the auxiliary of your front view take it horizontal There you go. So here yeah, we got a point. Then go auxiliary top again. That was F. Then G, which is the second one. One, two, the second one, isn't it? Then you go back to auxiliary front, which is this one. You get it. There you go. Which means it's this one. So the first point it was point one, isn't it? So the last point is going to be point three. So three there it goes, check it, trace it right from the this is so Z A one three two, isn't it? So F G three is it three is the last point there it goes. The one that we started gonna go with three the side horizontal. So which means the last point is this one. So from here till here, straight line. From here till here, straight line. You understand? Then now you take your flex curve or your special set square for, or you can use the free hand like me to get the line of penetration. So that's how it's going to be. So this was simple, straightforward, ladies and gentlemen. So, so especially for those whom they normally pre uh, select uh, questions to say i will do this and do this and do this there are these students which they they select questions in the final exam and be like i i am um, uh, these are the questions that i'm going to attempt today you understand so this one is one of the questions that is supposed to be among amongst your list if you select question you understand so it's simple straightforward so you are not asked about the missing view here 
uh, in case this one was given in third angle orthography projection so we're not even being asked to draw the what the the right view so you submit your question like this so thank you very much guys for watching that was Mr. Nkosi. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe uh, for more videos to be uploaded. So see you on the next video. Stay blessed, okay?